for them, but it is a risky move to make. However, in canon, they have also been playing fairly, uh, fairly confident, so it should not be too much. And I don't think I've updated the Team Konus logo. Uh, no, I have not updated the Team Konus logo. There we go. Let me do that real quick, because otherwise it's going to look uh, very funny. So I do have that. Uh, let me do that real quick. Now we can see a little bit going on. There we go. So for that little delay, it's a mix up from my side. I have not seen any action, although it is happening now. The push coming in on two sides. Oh, I'm trying to watch, uh, watch his angles as he's already been, uh, been lit up. Zenova is there. Smoke. Reacts a little bit late as he gets shot down by Zenova. 2k for him. It's all paralyzed and he gets stabbed by a uh, raccoon. And that's round one going to Kashmir fairly quickly as well. So let's keep our eyes on Sean. Again, he's playing with that FRF2 Legend. Before, when they were playing here versus Core 7, he was playing with the M40 last team standing on this map. To see Jin Zhao with a grenade kill onto Bay Fendi, also dealing damage onto Kreese. Very good way to start off for Kashmir. As we see Sean retreat. Jin Zhao probably called out that the push is happening in mid. But now Jin Zhao is gonna peek and he will get the kill onto Kreese. Important for them. It's already been put under pressure. Now Dicky wants to push. He's gonna free fire a lot. Sean is there to peek. Lits up Sean quite badly. But Sean did get a kill in the process onto Paralyzed. Two players coming behind. Alum is not able to hold them off. There is Dicky. Gets a headshot kill onto Retech. He's on his own. Is that a wolf? No, that's a pretty far. And Zenova gets a kill. Round two also going to Kashmir. And they're off to a good start. Remember, this might be the winner bracket finals, but it is still a best of three game. Only the uh, grand finals will be played through a best of five, which essentially is a best of four, given that the first map will be given to the team that wins this game, the winner bracket finals. See Paralyzed jump on Alan's head. Sean Meanwhile has retreated already. There he is. Let's keep our eyes still on Jin Zhao. Has been... Ah, there we go. The M41 graffiti. Thank you, Diggy. There's Jin Zhao. He's gonna do this just all the time until he sees someone uh, pop up. And he's gonna peek out and get the kill. We get dizzy from this almost. One of the pre fire yet. Yeah, hides beyond the box. Smoke is actually really good because nobody's gonna see him. The C4 is immediately down as Rita gets the opening crack. There are players inside. Two players defending it though. Another player comes in. Zenova finds two players. And there is Alam. He's got the kill onto Zenova. So get Retech. Paralyzed already up in mid. And Raccoon not really helping them out here. He should rotate at this point. He's gonna go for a full stab. Paralyzed wants to go to one side. Alam has to get this shot onto Retech, otherwise the round is lost for. Deals a lot of damage, doesn't get hit himself. Paralyze is now most likely going to move in for the stab. A lot of pre fires coming. Far wait. They're going to move in far, keep some pre fire but yeah, there is Paralyze. Because I was watching that angle, has to move around, but Alam will find both of the kills. There is Rakundo, catches one of the players off guard. Deals a lot of damage onto Paralyze, but yeah, the rotate has already been called. Paralyze is just gonna wait there, but Raccoon, of course, knows this too. He has to go by the vent most likely, but yeah, Paralyze will be peeking him here. Find the kill, gets the kill onto Paralyze, still has a lot of HP. And now it's all onto Alam. With that M4 graffiti watching the base, he's just gonna wait. For him to pass, then he's gonna peek, and the timing is perfect. Gets the headshot too. Alam rounds it off. Round 14 Konis. Looks like Paralyze is not too happy with the with the wire. Wonder why that is. So far he uh, he's still struggling in this matchup. Go one and three. We'll be looking to pick up the pace later on as the push is trying to go to two side. Bay if any playing with a regular ASW. Another interesting pick, but he does get the kill onto Sean with it. Rotate's coming in. Alam's already inside. There's Raccoon. Has to get the kill. See a lot of jumps coming in too. Yeah, he has to fall back with a pistol. And Dicky will find him. And he's not a retech. 
Look at that. Alum just keeps on spraying. Managed to find Zenova. That's all onto Jinzel. 1v3 situation, but all of the players are currently inside of two. It's looking to be evened out. They're playing here. Smoke coming out. So I'm gonna check his back before preparing for that final push. So Wallbank's coming in. Still in the smoke. Doesn't check his left. Smoke get caught from behind then. Diggy gets the kill. The Fandy had already moved out. Was the only player with full HP. Is that some proper play saw here? Team Kona has evens up the scores. It is too well. It's two rounds remain this first half. Let's see what Paralyzed can do. Meanwhile, has picked up that M40A5. Also, he is not playing with the last team standing for Ryan as Sean shuts down Alum. He's gonna throw in an X9 for it. There's a little bit of a uh, competition going on between the teams as Retac gets the kill on Paralyzed. More kills are being made and a 1v5. And that's it. 25 seconds it took as Retac rounds off with a headshot on Bay Fendi. And just one round remaining. Mid push is not happening. Nice watching the vent. Zenova and Raccoon have pushed up. They know it's not going to be a one. Jinzao is moving over. But Dicky getting the kill onto Retech. He knows that uh, it's safe to retreat. Sean finds the kill onto Paralyze. He's not able to get those kills. And now the bomb is down too. He's Jets Bay Fendi. He's going to X9 and still go on. Misses the shot onto Kreese though. Has to get this kill. This is again, Kree's gonna move over, 4v2 situation. Kree's is still, he actually dropped the bomb, why did he do this, Kree's? Sean's gonna get the third kill, keeps on X9 in here, not sure why that is. But with Raccoon, getting the final kill onto Alam, it's a 4v2 lead to Kashmir. And they take the lead as we switch sides. We still have a maximum of seven rounds to go. Kashmir will need three, Team Konas will need five. This next round could already be a decider in that. He tries to apply some pressure with Zenova into the pillow room. It's not being contested by Paralyzed and Kreese. Paralyzed actually picking up the point, man. No scopes whatsoever. No scopes on India. Now, who would have guessed? There's only one scope in the entire room, and that is Sean. But usually, you see... I heard a shotgun. I heard a Spaz 15. And that sound is unmistakable. Takeable and there we go. Paralyzed has that best 15. See Bay Fendi get the kill onto Sean. Jin Zhao has also been shut down. The part's not looking too great, but let's move over to Retech. He's gonna be caught up from two angles. Gal gets the kill onto Bay Fendi. With the spray down Zenova, managed to get another one in. Paralyzed then finally getting a kill here. But why is that thing called is that purple when it's a regular shot? Uh, they have really messed up the, the icons here. But Zenova finds himself in a 1v3. Freeze has already spotted him. There's going to be no pressure for them winning against Kashmir here. Round 7 goes to them. 4 to 3. It's a scoreline. Retech tries to move up him in. So Nate's coming in from the side, because he's peeking out. Doesn't spot anyone yet. Moves up. Trying to take it slowly, but there's no there's no mid cover whatsoever by Team Konas. It's an interesting move. They do have one scope playing. This time it's Bay Fendi. So they do so they did realize that they need a scope at this point. That moves out, gets that kill onto Diggy straight away. Doesn't even get tagged in the process. Now Bay Fendi is forced to move back. Sean gets him then with a good peek. Yeah, with Paralyzed shutting down Jin Zhao, that is the call to move over to two side. Kreez does some damage back, and it is a 3v3 situation. It's not as easy as you would say. Some smoke's coming in. Should be the call. Oh, he gets UEV'd by Kreez, but he still gets a kill. And now Alan comes in. Sean gets the kill on him. We'll check behind and gets a kill on Paralyze. Sean seems to be unstoppable at this point. 9 and 4, 9 and 3 for Zenova. But he knows exactly what to do. Gets round 8 in for Kashmir with 3 in total. And they are just 2 rounds away from winning this first map. Now coming out from Dicky in the mid. Nobody's there though. So 
again, Jin Zhao and Raccoon are trying to move up to stairs one. I go back a bit. I think it's gonna be a B side. Uh, no, they think it's pillar room. Well, there are people in pillar room, obviously. Good decision though from Paralyzed to pick up the shotgun and to play on the stairs. But yeah, when you do do that, you need backup. He's got the backup, but now with Big Effendi falling and Dicky falling in the middle, it's gonna be a task for Alan to shut down all these players coming into the side and Retech is having none of that. Zenova with the kill on Kreezy mid, it's just onto Paralyze. He does get a kill with that spaz though. But he can't get a kill on Zenova. 6-3 for Kashmir, and it looks like they've pretty much got it. We have a maximum of 4 rounds remaining. And Team Konas will need to win all, th all 4 of them, if they still want to win this map. Sean now is going to wait for a push. Ah, he gets the kill onto Paralyze. Playing too aggressive there. Yeah, Sean's not, uh, is having none of that. This is playing close. Dicky gets the kill onto Raccoon. That is important. Because at this point, there was no backup for him. So, well, it, it's, it's not the end of the road for Kashmir at all. So, he's just going to take his time. By taking his time means that they can take up map control because we have seen already that Team Konas is leaving the mid up for grabs in most of the rounds on defense so far. And we know, well, sometimes Dicky was in the mini, but he wasn't really able to get kills there, which is why they've lost it so often. They've only got one round so far while defending. It was one of the rounds where they did get a good amount of kills. Now they're pushing in like crazy as Jin Zhao gets the kill on Dicky, but Alam is still in. He's trying to hide. Sean get that kill. No, he's just gonna get both of the kills. 2k for Alam as he holds down the side. It's 6 to 4. 3 rounds maximum remaining. Let's keep our eyes on Dicky, who has now switched over to the AK line. Looks like the graffiti didn't fit him all too well. And Paralyzed is applying so much pressure in the mid, and he's having none of it. Gets the re-kills in the process. And now finally it seems to pay off for Team Konas. He hasn't been able to get a lot of kills throughout the game. That's actually almost half of his scoreline in that one round. And we're in round 11. So that's not the best of things. Well, be Fendi is getting damaged a little. Wants to get the kill. Can't get it yet. Yeah, with Kree shun down Zenova to 1v4 situation. There's no chance for Raccoon to win that. 6 to 5, 2 rounds remain. But Team Konas is bringing it back fairly close. And this is so far the closest game we have seen, with nothing being cer uh, certain as for now. But Kashmir opportunities and chances of closing it down are slowly running out. Yeah, Paralyze is going to play aggressive again. He hasn't been able to get the kills here up to this point. He did get a few in the mid. He is putting himself in a tough call here. I still waits. Nobody is really moving up. And Sean is also still in the mid. Kashmir does what they need to do here in this round. They are taking their time, not trying to make any errors and close it off after getting a few picks here. No picks have been made yet, but they do have the mid control. And Sean will now peek out in the mid, and try and get that kill. That is almost most certain. Jin Zhao shuts down Dicky. That's an important kill for them. Alam does damage back. Jin Zhao. Oh, he wants to get the kill, but the bomb is down. Oh, it's down. That's not good for them. Now Sean has to get a pick onto mid. Gets Bay Fendi. That's the kill he needed. Paralyzed Mimo gonna move over. He's not fully gonna move over. He expects it to be a two push. Oh, he misses his shot onto recruit. How can you miss the? Wow. I think he just missed it by a pixel. But that is very unfortunate because instead of a uh, 3v2 for them, it's now a 2v3. But they do still have the bomb. And Kreese is playing close. And Alam is watching the behind. Playing good position, but Alam has to watch too many angles. He should also play on the stairs with Kreese. Uh, well, not on the stairs. That would be even too risky. But he's around the right position. But I think playing directly under vent would be better. 
you can see players coming. Look at that. Sean gets the kill. And now they know that Alam is going to be here. He has to peek out at some point and get the kill. Sean tanks him. And he will get shot down by Raccoon. Very well played by Sean throughout this process. 12 and a half and 6. Most kills still go uh, to Zenova. A win in map 1 for Cal Retex, Zenova, Jidao, Scafson, Raccoon, uh, and Sean, and Team Kona's NRF with Paralyzed, Dicky, Kreese, Bay Effendi, and Alam. So your goal uh, scores are in. Actually forgot to update the dots. We'll not do that now, so it'll take a little bit too much time, and it will uh, cause us to miss some of the action, especially on a high-paced map as this, because we're going to see a lot of pushes. Kreese immediately has to fall back. Dicky is still there. It's not in the right spot. Nova won't get the kills. Uh, Jin Zhao immediately with the trade though. Smoke's coming in. Want to go for the push and Kreese and Alam are defending it. He comes at the wrong moment. Fanny's already there. Gets two players. Retech has to switch over real quick. Still gets a kill. But Sean and Fanny. Sean knows. Oh, Sean and Paralyzed. Sorry. He knows where they are. Sean is just playing with him. <laughs> Retech will get the kill. They're just playing with each other, and I'm pretty sure Sean is the player that is enjoying it the most. Round one goes to Kashmir. They also take lead in game number two. Jin Zhao, meanwhile, moves up in the bookshelf. He did this last round as well, which is where he got the kill. But look at this setup over at one side. They're they're not really covering each other with it. Having three players on one side is good, don't get me wrong. Although Paralyzed has again been shut down in mid by Sean. He must be laughing as much as he can. Kree's in a good position, but with Zenova finding Dicky. Yeah, one side is just being completely dismantled as Kree's tries to hold on to it. But will only uh, damage a player up to so much. Hey, Sean has already heard Bay Fendi. Will not miss that shot. We'll get two kills this round in the process. Another solid round for Kashmir. But it is the way Team Konas has that one side defensive set up. It's not good. They're playing three people on one. That's a good idea. But they're not holding it the way they should hold it. They're, because they're not, they're not covering each other. It's just not working. Now they're paralyzed. Gets a kill on Zenova before being treated off by Raccoon. And yeah, he's got two side control. Should call out for Retech to come in with a rotate. You want more kills have been made, yeah. This this team is on fire. It, it looks like the entire of Team Bonus is just falling apart at this point. They seem to have no answers to Kashmir whatsoever. And they're going at it. They know how to do this. And this is their map. Look at that. Again, Sean with the kill. Kree's now being shut down. They know two players are there. Even though it was Alam still getting a kill. Immediately traded out by Retech. He then with a lot of pre fires. He gets second kill. But one that Sean also shuts down. Paralyzed. Look at the man go. 7 and 0. With a 4 0 scoreline for Kashmir. They already got the minimum amount of rounds what they need. Callouts being made here. Now let's keep our eyes on Paralyzed for a few. See if he's able to open up the rounds. Because as a sniper, he should. Because But you already see, BFN, he has picked up the scope a uh, numerous amount of times, just because Paralyzed isn't able to perform. And again here, he misses his shot. 
The if any will make the return onto retech, but it, it comes in a little bit late. Although they do have the 4v2 option, but with Sean getting one kill. Ah, there is Beefendi. That is the kill that they need. Sean finally falling in round number five. Now Zinova has to do it on his own. 1v3. They know that he's over here. That's the kill. Kreeze already coming in from behind. Zinova doesn't hear that. Now he does. It doesn't matter. Kreeze has that pointman. We'll be able to spray him out. We'll at least get one... Uh, one... Uh, one point on the board for Team Konus. Still 4 and 1 for Kashmir. If Kashmir really wants to put a nail in the coffin, they will have to win this next round. Otherwise, it might still become closer as we move on through the rounds. Let's now holding angles. Both of the players holding two side from outside. They're just gonna allow them to move in. Sritek's being put on UAV. He doesn't dare to push on because he expects someone to be in there. But look at Alam just pushing through. Go in ramble mode himself now. As three players are backstairs. And Kreeze is... Why is Kreeze on one side? Not sure why, but... He's putting his teammates in a tough position. Should have rotated by long, especially because they know that two side has been taken. But they still expect a rotate to come in. Should they know that the bomb is not on site then? It's a very interesting call to make. This nade is... Yeah, pointless, but retag finds two players as he moves out the side. Yeah, now Kreese will be uh, will be pay, uh, be paying for his mistake. So now he has to retake a side three v one. Zinova almost full, retag full, and Jin Zhao full. It's gonna be nearly impossible. Spotted by one player, but one's be able to get one down. Jin Zhao rounds off five one lead to Kashmir, and they're only two rounds away, just two from a spot in the Grand Finals. There's Ali. Can't even get damage in onto Jin Zhao. It's really not working out properly for them. If any's now gonna pick them in. Uncheck, but nobody is there. Sean again with that kill. Let's move over to Sean because he is seeming to be unstoppable at this point. There he is. He's 10 and a half into. They know where Bayefendi is. Retech will get the kill eventually. Operation. Six to one for Kashmir. Just one round remaining. And yeah, look at the scores. Retech 11 and three. Sean 10 and a half and two. Jin Zhao also doing fairly decent with six and a half and two. It's only one player that's been negative so far, but it's not like Raccoon has been keeping them down of any sort. Now Sean will find his demise. He's already been lit up. With Dickie also finding a kill. One side is now open. Looks like Team Konus is finally able to take yet another round. They're taking the side together. Do that well. And they know that one is open. Zhao still finds one kill. He's already lit up. Speed Fendi and Kreese are both going to push him out. They just want the kill. Oh, gets the headshot onto B. Fendi. That's a huge kill for him. We move around. So I was still gonna try for it. Well, obviously he has to. He's got nothing to lose. Yeah, Kreese is coming from behind. This is some very nice placement from Kreese because he will just get the kill now onto Jin Zhao. Nicely done by him. Some game sense coming into play. Around eight, finally going to Konas. Although they need to win five more to push themselves to a third and final map. And at this point, that seems nearly impossible. Kashmir well on his way to take it here. Game number two. Fake peeking Sean. Sean is gonna re peek, misses the shot. Oh, he still gets, he gets two more kills. How is Sean still alive? How is it even possible? And yeah, now with Alam in a 1v4, he's got no chance. Still gets a kill onto Rethek though. He's not gonna give up. He's actually just gonna go for the plant. It's a fake plant. He's got no bullets. Why are you not reloading? Alam is very overconfident as he shuts down Zinova, but Sean is lit. Raccoon is full HP. If you can knock down Raccoon, it's definitely not over. He's got some smokes, he's got some nades. He's gonna go for the plant. Again, a fake plant. He doesn't know where the players are, so he expects them to push him as he goes for it. Throws a nade, he's gonna push the back. 
making a lot of noise with that. And the Pointman will hear that. This is game set and match. There's no way Alam is still going to make it. Sean will also peek out. Oh, he gets the kill onto Sean still. It's not over. This is the 1v4 for Alam. Just up against Rock uh, Raccoon. 60 HP. Expects him to come from the back. He's playing in a good corner. But it is a corner that Raccoon will most likely pre-fire. And he does. Gets the headshot in. Great pre-fire again. 7-5 is the first map. Was very close on India. Cannon seems to be no issue whatsoever for Kashmir. They win it 7-2. With neither of the players making any mistakes there. Is on to the grand finals. And they are at least certain of a second place in this tournament. Although... They seem most likely to win the cup at this point, as they've been playing absolutely well. Again, we will take.